smooth muscle, longitudinal cut, and transverse cut with H and D staining. Please note that all theoretical details of the smooth muscle final structure you must learn from the lecture material and from your textbooks. Here I will demonstrate only the facts what you can see in the slide. This piece of tissue was taken from the wall of a piece of the small intestine, but the mucous membrane was removed. So you only see here the two layers of muscles in two different cuts. This is a longitudinal cut and this is a transverse cut. If I enlarge the picture and we see the territory, uh, which is the longitudinal cut, then you see these intense eosinophilic profiles. You don't see the cell borders very well. And you see longitudinal long, thin nuclei. Often they are a little bit wavy. This might remember you of the dense collagenous connective tissue, but the connective tissue eosinophilic color is always slightly different, like for example, you see it in this region, it's somewhat paler and it's somewhat, somewhat more yellowish. So the smooth muscle is more intense eosinophilic and it has a bluish touch. So this is here the longitudinal cut. The length of the cells is maybe between 15 and 50 uh, micrometers. Here down you see transverse cut. Uh, since the cells are pretty long and narrow, uh, it's not, uh, you will not see the nuclei in every cross section. Sometimes the nucleus is in the plane of the cut and, and many times it's not. Uh, the size of the profiles you can judge based on the red blood cells. So they are between, the, the cross section profiles are between 5 and 15 uh, micrometer. Here you see an islet of loose connective tissue with beautiful nerve cells in it. This nerve cell has also the nucleus in it. This must be a satellite cell. There are also other nerve cells in tangential cut. And com as compared to the red blood cells, here you see red blood cells. You see that these cells are very large cells. They are at least 50 micrometer in diameter. You have seen smooth muscle in many other slides before, like for example in this slide which was taken from the small intestine and we, we showed it to you in order to demonstrate the simple columnar epithelium with striated border. That, that's what you have here on the surface, occasionally uh, with goblet cells. Here you have the goblet cells. <laughs> you have smooth muscle here, for example, in a narrow layer or you have smooth muscle in the wall of a muscular artery, like here. Or here, for example, you see muscle in cross-section, smooth muscle in cross-section, and smooth muscle in longitudinal cut. Okay. So here, <clears throat> this is the, uh, the cross-section. You don't see the individual profiles because they are very close to each other, and the cell borders do not show in this picture. In this territory, you see loose connective tissue with scattered collagen fibers. If the color is typical, the collagen fibers are always a little bit yellowish pink and the smooth muscle fibers are always bluish pink. In this blood vessel, you also see the endothelial cells and the internal elastic membrane about this final structure of the arteries you will hear at the end of the semester. In this other slide, also from the small intestine, uh, where we showed you goblet cells, goblet cells with pus staining. So the slide is a pus H staining. We have also smooth muscle. If I enlarge this region here, then you will see a fine pattern here around the smooth muscle cross sections. Here you have the longitudinal cut, which is rather an oblique cut. Here you also see the, the, uh, the borders around the cells. 
This is because the smooth muscle cells, as all muscle cells, have a basement membrane on their surface, and the basement membranes are stained well with pus bleach. So in case of pus staining, you have chance to see the borders of the cell. These are here rather longitudinal uh, cut, longitudinally cut smooth muscle cells, and these in this region, you have cross-section of smooth muscle cells.